Welcome to Apply Formatting to InfoPath Forms. In this video we will show you how to format some of the controls we created in earlier sessions and make it ready for publishing. At this point the form is functionally complete and all we need to do now is apply the final formatting so that the form can be published. So let's preview this form and see what needs to be done. We'll pull up some information, so data, information services, query data, and you'll notice that we are missing the total value for each of the months as well as we need to adjust how these values are displayed to make them fit a little better on the form and make it more conducive to a report. So let's go ahead and apply those. And the first step then is to add a calculation here to sum up each of the months. We do this by going to our list of controls and choosing calculated value. We can either type in an expression or use the formula builder to help us define that. So what we need to do is to add up each of the months, September, October, November, December, January, May, June, July, and finally August. And we can verify that we've typed in everything correctly. And yes, the formula does not contain any errors, and choose OK. And now InfoPath will insert a calculated value that will sum up each of these items within the row. The next thing we want to do is to format each of these fields. Let me click on, and so you can do this by highlighting them all and we're going to remove the border on each one because the table itself already contains some borders. So let's go ahead and right click on borders and shading and remove the borders. And so now our form looks like this. The next piece we need to do is format the numbers themselves so they fit properly. So let's do the calculated value first. We do this one by right clicking on it and choosing calculated value properties and we have the option of how we can choose to format the result and we're going to change that from text to decimal and when we choose decimal it gives us the ability to format the decimal according to number percentage or currency let's use currency and we want no digits of precision by default you'll notice that the value is left justified so under the display tab we can choose to right justify it as well and choose apply. We need to apply that same kind of formatting to each of these fields so we right click on them and choose text box properties and we can choose the format again we have the options of number percentage or currency. We'll choose currency, no decimal digits of precision, and again in the display tab we can choose to write justify it. And there are many other options you can choose from here as well. So we'll choose OK. And we need to apply this to all of the remaining months. Choose zero, display, and write justified. Once the formatting has been applied to all the remaining months, we can go ahead and preview the form. Again, we'll bring up some data to look at it. Let's pull up document control and that looks much better. So now we have a total with each of the months individually and then the employees as well. We are now ready to publish this form in Enterprise Services. This concludes Apply Formatting to InfoPath Forms. 
In the next video, we will publish this InfoPath form as an HTML web page using Enterprise Services.